It's Jessica and I'm back to do my Friday favorites and fills and this is my second time trying to film this. As you can see I have swatches all over my hand. Um, camera cut me off so I'm going to try this again. Okay, let's just jump right into it so this isn't a five hour long video. Let's start with shower favorites. First off is a Suave uh, Daily Clarifying Shampoo and this is in the family size. I believe the family sizes are 250 This smells really good and I used it and I felt like it, I've, I think I've used it twice and it, I felt like it really just cleaned my scalp, got rid of any kind of build up and made my hair just feel super squeaky clean and it smells great. I used to use the, or I still have a little bit so I probably need to finish it up, the Neutrogena Daily or Clarifying Shampoo and I just felt like it just stinks and it doesn't, I don't really think it works that good. Um, I feel like it strips the color out of my hair a little bit. I haven't noticed it on this, but I also need to uh, do my roots and stuff, and then I'll kind of see how much it strips. But even if it strips a little bit, I just, I think it works so good. I'm willing, and I only use it like once every, like, other week, so I'm not that concerned about it. So this is definitely going to be something I'm going to keep repurchasing and always keep on hand. So if you haven't tried this, go out and try it. Um, the next thing is... I was so excited when I saw these Herbal Essences uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. These are like the old packaging, the old style. This like totally brings me back to high school. Um, this is what I used in high school and I loved it and I was so sad when it was like not available anymore. It just smells so clean and fresh and like that smell like lasts all day long. You know some shampoos smell good in the shower but then like you know you get out, dry your hair and you can't really smell it anymore. These like stick around in your hair all day so if this was something that you loved back in the day go at, go and get it. I don't know if this is like just a limited thing but I would definitely go grab some of these while they're out there. Okay the next thing is shower thing is this Olay Silk Whimsy cleansing body wash and it's with rose extract and almond oil. This just oh, it smells so fresh and clean and pretty and girly. Oh, I just love it. And it keeps my... Ooh, that water just got over my face. That's so not cute. Um, it definitely keeps my skin... I don't feel like it dries it out. It keeps it pretty moisturized. So, And the garbage man's here. Sorry if you can hear that. That's annoying. Anyways, really like that. Um, the next thing is this... Uh, Vaseline Intensive Rescue Soothing Moisture Body Lotion in Chamomile. It just smells so light and clean and like like it's a light chamomile scent, but it really moisturizes your skin. Moisturizes your skin. It says it calms itchy dry skin in one use and helps heal dry skin in three days. My skin is always so dry, especially in the winter, and I I wash my hands so much. Because you know, with kids and stuff, so my hands are always like really dry, and this definitely has been a lifesaver this winter. And I've just been really loving that this week, especially because I felt like my hands were overly dry this week. So, the next thing is a hair product, and it's this Guardian Angel The Got to Be Heat Protectant Spray. Um, I definitely like this over my Tresemme. I still have a little bit of the Tresemme, which I'm going to finish up. But I will not be repurchasing the Tresemme. I'm definitely going to stick with this. It smells good. I feel like it does a much better job. And overall, I just really like this product. Okay, the next thing is I did a review and I posted it, I believe, yesterday on the Wet n Wild uh, Coverall Cream Foundation. This is a good drugstore foundation. I really like it. It doesn't leave me looking like oily and it doesn't over dry my skin. It's not patchy. It mixes into my skin really well. It's nice and creamy. I definitely like the packaging because you can kind of control how much you get. Um, so uh, for, I think this was $5.99 or $6.99, it's definitely worth a, a shot. So I would definitely look into that if you haven't tried it already. Um, the next, but I would pass on the powder. I didn't think the powder was amazing. So just the foundation. The next thing is eyeshadows. Um, these are newer, but I've had them for a little while, um, and I kind of forgot about them, but it's the Give Me Gold and Copper Chick that I have here. I have a few more. Um, this is actually what I have on my eyes today, the Give Me Gold. So I don't know if you can 
kind of see that. Um, just super pretty. Um, they do have a little bit of fallout. I actually used, uh, let's see. So this is what's all over my lid. This, uh, I guess I can open that. This gold color or bronzy gold. And then I got my brush wet and put that like kind of in the center of the lid. And then I used this on the outer V and this as an inner corner highlight. So this is super cute. I can definitely do a tutorial on it if you want. But these are just really pretty. I mean, a little bit of fallout, but they're highly pigmented. Um, let's see. That's kind of what those look like. That one wasn't a very good swatch. So super pretty. Love those. I think they're like $5.99. And for drugstore, I mean, they're pretty good. So the next thing is I picked this up a while ago, or beginning of this week, I think, and it's the Glam Rimmel, or, yeah, Rimmel London Glam Eyes, the Day to Night, and it says it's got the volume and the lengthening. Oh, my hands are wet. So you get this one, that's just the volume side. I don't know if you can see that. And then you close it back up, and you pull out the top one, and you get your lengthening one. So, that's what that brush is. This one's a little bit skinnier and it's like a little bit more flexible. It is a little goopy. I think I'll like it even more once it's dried out a little bit. I tend to like a little bit drier mascaras. But it's just, and this is an extreme black. Um, I definitely didn't feel the need to layer on an extra mascara. And I'm usually like three, four mascaras going on. So I definitely would pick this up and give it a try. That's what's on my eyelashes today. So... I felt like it gave them a lot of volume and a lot of length, which I love. So, and it didn't, it wasn't too clumpy. So, I don't know if you can see that. All right, the next thing, um, which is also eyeshadow, I should have stayed in the eyeshadow family there for a second, is that I've re fallen in love with my new Tude palette. When I first got it, I loved it and then kind of got pushed to the side, but I definitely have been loving this. Um, I love uh, this sexy color. It's just such a beautiful, like, cranberry color. I love to use that to smoke out. kind of looks brown right there, but to smoke out my uh, lower lash line. Super pretty. So, I'm going to try to get some of those swatches off. I'm all swatched up. Okay, the next thing is, um, let's go with eyeliners. Um, I've fallen in love again with my Maybelline Eye Studio, um, gel eyeliner and this is just in black is black it's nice and pigmented it goes on really creamy it's what I made my wing with today so love that um, I've also been loving these Rimmel Scandal Eyes uh, 24 hour waterproof hydro oh, hydrofuge and this is in black mill um, these are just super creamy that's it right there um, and nice and black and pigmented, as you can see. The lids are a little hard to get off. So, so I've been loving that, and that's what I use on my um, upper lash line. So, so I do that, and then I just use an angled brush to create a wing with the Maybelline. I've also been loving this one in Bulletproof Beige. <clears throat> that's it right there, and that's what I have on my waterline today so we'll see if it's 24 hour waterproof I don't think so but we'll see this is waterproof though this is the wet and wild h2o proof um, this stuff is so pigmented and so dark and it's waterproof pigmented dark I'm such a retard okay anyways so yeah Love that. That's all. I'm going to move on. I need help today. Anyways. Um, I've also been loving this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I like to use this as an under eyebrow highlight <laughs> after I fill in my brows. And then I just kind of mix it in with a brush and then my finger. But I have also love it as just an all over like eyeshadow base. So it definitely makes like bright colors pop. Okay, the other thing I've been loving 
is I fell in love with my uh, Def Maybelline Definer Brow again. I just take it and like line underneath and above and create my little tail there. And then I just go in with a powder and fill it in. So I've been loving that again this week. And that's in dark brown. And that's a swatch of it right there. Alrighty. Um, okay, lipsticks. I have my Maybelline Vivids. I have six of the, I want to say there's eight or ten of them. But I've just absolutely been loving these again this week. I'm kind of getting excited for spring, and these, like, remind me of spring. So some of my favorites are Pink Pop, which looks like that. Um, and my other second favorite is Wild Rose. And I think these are dupes for some MAC lipsticks, but I'm not sure which ones. So, Oh, that's so pretty. And they're nice and they like kind of leave a shine, but you can add a gloss over top too if you want a little bit more shine. But I also have this in Shocking Coral, which, oh my gosh, I'm excited for spring and summer. Okay, and then... Uh, Fuchsia Flash is actually another one of my favorites, and it is like a serious, like, boom, hot pink. That's it right there. And then, I believe one of these is a dupe for Candy Yum Yum, and I'm not sure which one. I'll try to figure it out for you guys. Um, hot Plum. Oh, I just love these so freaking much. And then Brazen Berry. That bottom one. Oh, so pretty. Okay, the next two things I've been loving are the, I like to put these over the top of the Vivids. Um, I think I had it on in one of my videos. Um, these are the, uh, the Maybelline L'Oreal Aqua Lips or Aqua Lacquer Lips, something like that. Infinite Fuchsia and Pink Rebellion, Rebellion are two of my favorites. So I've been loving those this week. The nail polish. I initially didn't like the hard candy ones because I feel like they peeled off. But they're so cute that I'll just deal with it. I'm going to try putting a base coat underneath. So that's what I have on. And I think it might just be like the ones that are like the gel ones. I think that's what it is. But I'm going to keep trying and see. But this is what's on my nails today. Which is um, I have Crush on Caribbean on all of them and then on my accent fingers so I have mermaid magic and I just feel like they're little mermaid nails so love that and then I just have a few other colors I actually haven't tried these out but I picked them up this week and that's tinsel town which oh look at those glitters a uh, piece of papaya oh it's pretty it's like got like a gold and like hot pink micro glitter in it and then gummy green which I think is so cute okay now for my and I love to top that with my sesh v sesh beat sesh v I don't know I think everyone says a different sesh feet top coat okay the next things that are like these are pieces of crap okay bad 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 do not buy these these are the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color. Now I think what they were trying to go for was like a liquid lipstick with a matte finish, which is great. But these are sticky and they crack and like, not, it's not like two hours after you put it on. I put this one on and literally 10 minutes later, like it's as soon as your lips move at all. Like I went like that and my lips like stuck together and it cracked and it was like falling off and it was chunky. And the colors are so cute though. Okay, I'm going to just show you. So you put it on and that's what it looks like. Nice and pretty pigmented. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a second while I talk about the other crap stuff. This 
Wet and our Maybelline Master Duo, and I think the this is what it's supposed to do. So it's supposed to like give you like a thin line like that, or you flip it over and get. Okay, so there. So you get like a thick line or a thin line. This stuff is super watery, and it takes forever to dry. So I mean, unless you're gonna sit there with your eyes closed, it's gonna be all up ruining all your makeup stuff's crap and it's hard to get off so I do not like this the next eyeliner which I thought this was gonna be like a really easy it's like kind of like almost looks like a marker like a felt tip marker and I thought this was gonna be great you know for precise like churn it like get that angle and get your wing but it just it let's see if I can show you it like drags on my skin and it's like t -t -t -t. I don't know it's hard to show you on here, but on my eyelids, it like literally like drug and it hurt, like it hurt my eyelids. So, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Eyeliner in, it doesn't have a name on it, so, but yeah, this wasn't a good one for me. Okay, oh, I forgot one favorite. This one's my, my favoritest of the favorites. Is that possible? Um, the L'Oreal Visible Lift Color Lift Blush. Oh, it's so pretty. And it almost just leaves like, it's what I have on today. It leaves like a highlighted look. So I don't even actually have to go in and highlight it. Let's, let's see. And it's got like the weirdest con consistency. It's like almost like a moussey. Can you see how you like kind of like can make your... It almost reminds me of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes, but better. And it, but it kind of like dries to like a powder. Oh, it just, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just leaves like, just like a glow on your face. Like a glow from within. So, I've been loving that. Okay, now we're going to go back to this Wet n Wild. Hmm, crap, watch this. You see how it like, that's like what it does. You see how much pressure I'm putting on that. That's what it does on your lips. And it's like, it's flaky. Like, what is that? I had to use, like, uh, an, like my Maybelline like eye makeup remover to get that crap off. It's not good. Don't buy it. You'll be sad if you buy it. Alright, guys. That's everything. Sorry. Um, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm kind of kooky today. But, um... If you have any questions, comments, requests, please leave them down below. Thumbs up if you like these videos, and I'll talk to you soon.